Buying a house is one of the biggest decisions you can make in your life. But it doesn't start with a signature. It starts with a great relationship with a realtor you can trust. The final decision is, of course, up to you. But getting you there, well, that's our job. We're Tennessee Realty Partners. Because remember, it doesn't start with a signature. It starts with a great realtor that you can trust. Tennessee Realty Partners. A police pursuit of an alleged stolen vehicle that started in Kentucky and ended in Gallatin, Tennessee, passed through Robertson County. It all started Thursday evening around 5.30. This video was shot by Jacob Dethridge near the end of the pursuit as the vehicle passed by H.G. Hills in Gallatin. At some point, the vehicle exited I-65 as it left Kentucky and entered into the White House area. It was around that same time that the THP radioed in for the White House Police Department to assist them in the pursuit of the vehicle. For about 15 minutes, no one knew where the vehicle was until a White House police officer spotted the vehicle heading west towards Springfield near the Kroger on Highway 76. At normal speeds, the vehicle did a quick loop in the parking lot of Kroger and then pulled back out onto Highway 76. Without lights or sirens, the White House police officer follows the vehicle down Wilkinson Lane, ending up at the back of the White House City Park. With now two White House police officers behind the vehicle, the vehicle stops. The White House police then turn on their lights and attempt to make a traffic stop. And that's when the suspects hit the gas and take off. The suspects then pull onto the grass and do a donut, perhaps looking around for a way of escape. After getting their bearings, the suspects then head towards the front of the park, which was full of people. A White House police officer showing great constraint immediately turn off their lights and sirens and back off from the pursuit, following from a safe distance. The officers did not want to jeopardize any of the lives of citizens who happened to be in the park. Hey, discontinue, discontinue. We are not going to chase him through the park. Discontinue. Unfortunately, the suspects also back off their speed, and the White House police officers following behind the suspect vehicle travel through the park at about five miles an hour. If you'd been in the park and watched them drive through, you'd never know that you were actually watching a police pursuit. Once the suspect vehicle reaches the front of the park near Highway 76, the suspects realize that there is a third police officer coming at them from Highway 76 and they're about to be pinned in at the park. The suspects again hit the gas as you can see in this footage, just missing a White House police cruiser as they make a left on Highway 76 on their way to Gallatin. A White House police officer stay with the vehicle until they reach White House city limits where the pursuit of the vehicle is handed off to the THP. Ultimately, the suspects, here they are, would be taken into custody as they pulled into the Gallatin Police Department. Luckily, nobody was injured throughout the pursuit. And for more details on the pursuit after it left Robertson County, including the arrest of the two suspects in Gallatin, uh, tune in to WKRN Nashville News 2 tonight for a special report from Andy Cordern. And this has been Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in White House. The Robertson County Funeral Home has been serving families for a quarter century. When it's time to celebrate and remember, to honor, in loving memory, the Robertson County Funeral Home.